Hello and welcome to your weekly horoscope forecast for week commencing the 2nd of May. As this week begins, Venus, the planet of grace, of charm, of aesthetics, of fashion, but also of relating and of course of money, moves into the first zodiac sign of Aries. If you have been going through some soul searching around a relationship issue recently, this could bring you more into the present, especially if there has been, unfortunately, a separation in your situation. But Venus also moves into an immediate sparkling alliance with Mercury in its one of its two home zones of Gemini. Now this can lead to some flirtatious uh, text winging around. It could also bring a greater sense of enthusiasm to the social scene. Of course, the sun does continue alongside Uranus in Taurus, which is very much to do with our resources. But Uranus is asking us through uh, the sun to be as open-minded as possible, to not hold on to things that no longer serve our greater purpose. And in some ways that might be some of the things we've taken for granted a little bit because the cost of living has gone up so much, we might find actually that some of the things we thought were so essential, we can let go. And because the two of them are forging such a, 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 a very powerful and energizing link to the planet of drive, Mars, we can dig deep from within ourselves to find ways in which we can reorder things. Some of that sparkle that Venus and Mercury are going to bring, despite the fact that Venus is technically in its detriment in Aries, could be enjoying the interaction, the personal interaction, and that doesn't really cost anything at all. Now also, there is by Sunday a quarter moon in the sign of Leo. This sees the sun in the second, the moon in the fifth, which just cautions us not to be too free and easy with our resources. But also if there is somebody that we're rather fond of, perhaps they've become rather too used to us indulging them. And this could be a good moment to actually just reinforce our boundaries somewhat. But Jupiter, the planet of fortune, is forging a very powerful alliance to Pluto, the planet of transformation that goes on all through this week. People who have this in their natal horoscopes are often very lucky and often make uh, quite good progress in life in a material context. But of course, Jupiter in the sign of Pisces can be more of a spiritual dimension, but something can change or evolve in a way which pleases us through that particular influence. Also Saturn in Aquarius is forging a semi-sextile to Neptune some of the things that we might think are very important to our structure of our lives, we might be able to let go of some of those with Neptune's help. But of course, Neptune can erode structures in a less positive way. But I don't think that will be the case. I think, again, we can realise that some of the things that we think or thought were so important are not quite as important as, as they actually seem to be in the past. Now, if you would like to ascend above this Zodiac broadcast, if you give me three pieces of personal information, I can give you a roadmap that can guide the rest of your life. A natal analysis is so incredibly insightful. But also with this, with my special offer, you can also get a 12-month forecast. And the two are working together and I give you 30% off can really be so very meaningful in terms of tapping your potential, avoiding pitfalls, and making the right moves at the right time. Please see the link below this video for more. Finally, if you are new to my channel, before I give you your Zodiac forecast, if you would be so good to subscribe, I'd be really grateful. I'm racing towards 100,000 subs. It's taken a bit longer than it should have done because of all my health issues but your support is greatly appreciated. Hello Pisces and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 2nd of May. Great news, 
On Monday, Venus, the planet of love and affection, but also loot and lucre, moves in your sign into your second house. Expect some kind of stroke of fortune from then over the next 28 days. The trick with Venus being in the second house is not to be too seduced by calorific goodies or any uh, bargains that we may see. And if we do have some fortune that we don't instantly release it from our grasp. But generally speaking, Venus moving into Aries can be fortunate for your sign, even if it's technically detrimented. Now also, Venus is linking brilliantly in a sextile with Mercury in your sector of the home. So maybe if you do have some spare money, you will treat yourself to perhaps a nice uh, asset for your abode. Could be a new piece of furniture, maybe a new piece of, of technical kit with Mercury in the mix, or perhaps you're gonna invite people around. And your connection to neighbors and siblings is really strengthened this week by the combination between the Sun and Uranus. But it could be you taking the lead because with Mars in your sign linking to the Sun and Uranus, you could feel more daring and bold and want to break down any sort of resistance there may be within yourself to actually link out to others. Also Jupiter, your traditional ruler, is forging an awesome angle to Pluto. When people have this in their natal horoscopes, they're often very fortunate. So this can be a time when your friendships, as long as you're prepared to take the lead, can be very helpful to you. So be as proactive as possible around your communications. Now with the Sun and Uranus together, some kind of upgrade around transport or perhaps your technology would seem to be writ large in your celestial uh, prospects. But of course it just depends on where you are. If you're someone who's always resisted a smartphone, now you may want the latest gizmo. If you're someone who's always wanted the latest, well, expect to want the latest one that's coming out now. And there's a sense of urgency around your communications. What might be a bit more challenging this week, Pisces, is sleeping. The electricity of Uranus combined with the sun could make it hard to sit still. So a great thing to do would be to be more active. And with Mars pushing you in your sign, if there is an opportunity to step up your exercise routine, be a bit more virtuous, then this is a great moment to go for it. The quarter moon, however, which occurs on Saturday in Leo, just says, says don't try to be too virtuous. You know, if you're a born again couch potato like me, and then the next minute you're trying to be uh, achieving Olympian uh, times, on your local park run, that's probably not a smooth transition in the work. So better just to pace yourself, but a lot of motivation in your situation this week, a lot of sparkle, and there could be a surprise text message or email, which really actually uh, gives you a lot of food for thought. Mm -hmm.